Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure Episode 21. We are done with Knuckles the Echidna now and moving on to Amy Rose. Alright! And immediately, Panty Flash. Oh, she's an animal. How so she's not wearing anything, is she? I, get, I guess, but somebody had to program that into the game. Well, oh. Uh, yeah. This, oh. ironically, is also Amy's best game because she actually has some cool moves, like a jump attack. She can do some pretty fun stuff with her hammer, and we'll be uh, trying to demonstrate that a little later here once we uh, get the thing going, because right now, this first few things of Amy's story is completely throwaway. Not even, it doesn't even matter. We're not even really doing anything. It's gonna be a lot of cutscenes, so uh, let's just get things started. Oh, I love cutscenes. I bet you do. Oh, God, I love this game. Do you really? No! <laughs> I didn't think you did. I love the little flashes that the Dreamcast has every time it tries to load a cutscene, and it tries to load the wrong thing, and it's just like a flash of horror in your face. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> or, or the visual equivalent of a hiccup. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, the same old thing. Hey, yep. It's time to light it up! Light it up! <laughs> Somebody just starts throwing bombs out the window. Unload on these hedgehogs! <laughs> See, that's when Eggman has to attack. Liven things up a bit. Oh, Sonic died? No, he, he just left on a vacation, because, you know, he, he didn't really do much after Sonic and Knuckles. I mean, yeah, 3D Blast, yeah, the Game Gear games, yeah, Sonic Jam, but, you know, he didn't do much. I could have sworn they were showing stuff from Sonic CD, or was I wrong about that? Uh, f flashbacks to Sonic CD, we'll put it that way. Okay. But Amy sees something in the sky. What could it be? Oh, it's just Eggman's overcompensation again. Oh my gosh, bigger than the city! Eggman is not a man about subtlety. Really not about subtlety. No comment? I'm just... Overwhelmed by how. Oh, there's the flash of horror again. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God! Whoa. Watch it! Watch it! Ow! You oh. should watch where you're going, buddy! Punt it! Punt it! Hey, are you Steps right? on his. You look kind of hurt. This is a uh, inappropriate this? touch robot because it looks like he's gonna do bad things with the way he moves his, his hands or whatever. But uh, he's also known as Zero. <laughs> what was that? It went past her, and then immediately he went. Oh wait, I'm supposed to go back there. You think you think that's crazy? I have lost her. Yep. Oh boy. He's not a very smart you, robot. You got away, well, or a very polite <laughs> robot. That's why worry. he was named Anybody Zero, as in Zero Intelligence. As in Zero, zero point one version. I'll do my best to keep us both from harm. I'll stand by you all the way. It's a bird. Just relax. All right. So Amy has a. She doesn't have a spin jump like everybody else, but when she puts her hammer out, whoops, that's right here. When she has her hammer out and she gets up to a run, that's a little hard to do when you're not going straight. But X does uh, unleash her little hammer, which that's her only mean of attack. There you go. Wow, her, that was a nice jump. That's her spin jump. A lot of fun could be done with that, and we'll be doing some crazy stunts. Again, not as versatile, not as mobile as the past three, but we do have our fun. Jeez, does she go higher than any other character? I don't know, but that is a very high jump, and we do need to use that at certain points, so, yeah. Oh, are her levels built around that? Not really, but uh, Amy's is a lot easier 
than everybody else's levels. Everything's been sort of toned down, so to speak. It means levels are always, always the easiest. Something good may happen at the casino area. Oh, something good, huh? I wonder what that could be. She's gonna make bank! <laughs> Everybody visits the casino. <laughs> Can you imagine out of all the characters who would actually, you know, play the slots or something else that Amy would be the only one that actually won? Like, yeah. But she did hit the jackpot. Gonna play some blackjack. Who's oh, that hunk? Nice. Oh, putting everything on blue, baby. My hero. Sonic! Uh, she knows what she's what she wants. She's after dead ass right there. Okay, you would know this more than me, sure. but I hope you can't answer it, if that okay. makes sense. Okay, uh, what do you got? Have you ever seen any type of, like, artwork or fan fiction where Amy is Yandere, if I'm pronouncing that right? Plenty. Seriously? Uh, yeah, plenty. I thought you were gonna ask me something strange, like, uh, fat but in a diaper or something. <laughs> well, no. I never would have thought of that. Yandere sounds kind of vanilla in comparison. Wow, really? No they, chance, everybody no thinks service. Amy loves him to death. It, ma it makes sense. Well, yeah, she never stops showing up. I mean, yeah, I know it's just complete infatuation because, yeah, he's saved her life bunches of times, but... Sure! I could totally see her as just going one step beyond and turning murderous. It's it's a possibility. I'd believe it. She's already got the hammer to bash his brains in. <laughs> Wait up, Sonic! Not fair! Collides with the hammer. Wait up, here. Sonic! <laughs> yeah, we're dangerously close to her skirt there. Oh, was there such thing as perversion back in the 90s? Or early 2000s? Uh, yeah. It existed as back as the early 60s, dude. Mm. Even beyond that. Hell, Shakespeare was known for that. It is comedies. I guess I just never considered that. Oh, perfect. Uh, we, we live in two different worlds, don't we? Ignorance is bliss, my friend. That that was the sound of Amy's models uh, screeching to a halt. Off screen. <laughs> yep, well, she's right there. <laughs> Cute couples get in free. Amy and the bird. <laughs> Sonic, you'll have to pay. Oh, man! Alright, well, Amy's first stage is Twinkle Park. None of the fun the stuff. Robot that was following you is closing in on you. Oh. It'll be over if that robot catches you. you Certain points, we have to run that. away from zero because he'll be chasing after us, as will be demonstrated here very well. There he is. Wow. So the entire, the entire level is based on the chase mechanic. Not all of it, but a good chunk of it. He's the one that keeps the tension going and keeps you moving. You know what I mean? Yeah, Nemesis eat your heart out. Oh, God. And, and uh, that little laser there, if he locks on you, he'll try and grab you. And I don't know if that, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that uh, just gets rid of your rings or if that's a one-hit kill. But you can use your hammer to stun him for a few seconds. So it's not really all that difficult. It's manageable, at least. But Amy has a crap jump! It is so shit! Or at least a normal jump. She's also not as fast as the others, either. So my amount of fun I can have with her is quite limited. Watch how you word that. Uh, the amount of fun I can have while playing her style of gameplay within the virtual game that I, of which I am playing here is uh, strictly limited. Because her skills are not up to par. How's that? That was textbook, my friend. All right. That's because I had a textbook. Uh, how not to sound creepy when playing the female part of a Sonic game. Uh, volume, volume two, pocket edition. Jeez, how many volumes do you think there are? Well, probably countless. And uh, I don't know about you, but in real life, 
I cannot handle these funhouse mirrors. Yeah, I, I think you were telling me about that one time. I cannot handle it. Whenever I see this stuff, I just I just lose it. Like, see, even now, even on this virtual screen, I know where I am, but I just can't move the way I want because I'm just so confused. It's, my brain is not working the way it should. That's I really, really can't, interesting. I cannot handle those. I have no idea why. Well, it also doesn't help that they changed the perspective on you. Had they not, you would have been fine. Yeah, but I've had one... I still have one foot tie behind my back. Here's a little bit uh, different. Oh, jeez. Alright, now I the, see what you're talking about. What's over in the mirror is real, and see that... Yeah. If you jump into a place that doesn't have a floor on the other side of the mirror, it turns into a trap door, so... Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Mirror puzzles. Yep. And, uh, you only find that after after playing it out. You only find that out after playing it for 15 years. You wouldn't know that the first time playing it, of course. Well, some of us may have understood it the first time we saw it. No, no, there's a robot chasing you! The robot well, you you okay. Hide in a barrel. Yeah, well, I don't think you ever really use that tactic. You can hide in a barrel and he won't see you, but I can just keep moving anyway, because I can stun him and I can continue to move. But I think he goes. I think he goes away if I do that. But I'm already moving pretty good anyway. At least they're giving you options, and it's not just like a constant chase. Yeah. Hang on to that balloon. You'll be able to get out. All right, that balloon will uh, get us out of here. <laughs> ah, shit! Stupid monkeys! <laughs> ah, damn it! Come on! The hammer's not very accurate when standing still, so it's best to jump and hit them. <laughs> the hammer's actually squeaking. <laughs> Yeah. It's oh. her Pico Pico hammer. <laughs> uh, never say that word again. I really hate these monkeys. What? It's just her Pico Pico hammer? That's what it's called! <laughs> I know. Hey, you beat the level! Yeah, that balloon's actually the end. Who would have known? <laughs> Zero just shoots down the balloon. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Using uh. guided missiles. <laughs> well, that bit of nonsense brings us back here. Welcome to Twinkle Park. And, uh, we could do the Twinkle Circuit with Amy, but really, there's no need. I mean, you've showed it off once. I think we're good. Yeah, it'd just be the same thing over again, and that wouldn't be very fun. But what is fun is what happens next. Whew. I'm glad we finally lost that robot. But we lost my man! She says as she sets herself up. Too. Huh? Oh. Whoop 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 whoop! Ha ha! Hey, watch it, Bolt Brain! Let us down! Oh, us Bolt Brain, go. you have heard me for the last time. Ow, ow. Getting ointment for burn. Yeah, I'm sure that robot could just, like, squeeze as hard as he can and just... Oh, all over the top. there we go. That's how it all ties in. Mm-hmm. Oh, and all of a sudden, egg carrier. Good. Well, we went through the whole thing where we're in the Mystic Ruins. We get sucked up through the tractor beam, and now we're in jail. That's nice. Now, now, calm down. You're the one who's scratching my head off! Ah! One feather at a time. Dun, dun. Uh, just walks to every cell. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> no life detected. No life detected. Life detected. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the bird. What do you want? How did you guess? N you're not. Oh, you're kidding me, aren't you? Damn it. No, yeah, really. Quietly hand over the bird. No, never! 
I mean, I'm giving you the bird, but you can't see it. <laughs> I don't need to tell you anything. You tell me why you want it now. I'd rather you not ask. <laughs> Does not you compute. Activating flamethrower. I know you might Chicken. <laughs> Preparing three course you meal. Have a heart. Uh, I think they messed up the animations on that one. Please no, do not attack me, for I am a robot. Hedgehog's talking. Also pink. Does not compute. Why does the bird not talk with her? Does not compute. <laughs> That's a good point. Why don't all animals talk in this universe? Yeah, and, and I mean, you got the Babylon rogues. They're birds. They talk. They're just like Sonic. Bang, bang. I know, right? When you find out the twist behind E-102 and that bird, you're gonna... That's gonna be the crazy moment where you're just gonna jump ship for this Let's Play. <laughs> you expect I haven't done so already. Uh... The fact you're still here is more than enough, really. I'm waiting for, like, an Iron Giant moment where she has to go up and say, You are not a gun! It's dangerous here. <laughs> Hurry, we'll Goodbye, bird. And soon. pink bird. I'm going to count to ten. You're really nice. Ten. You're different <laughs> than the other robots. <laughs> yeah, that you might be because you're playable. I would like to think that because of all this illogical nonsense going on in Gamma's head, he eventually breaks down and can only say bird. So it's like, Gamma, report! Bird. Bird. <laughs> bird. Can't you say something else? Avian. <laughs> bird. Well I, well, I know you're going to shoot us, but... I just want to know what you got to say, man. Counting to ten. Dangerous? Don't you want to come with us? I you know, I'll wait. I'll wait for Sonic to come save me. 